Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario and also the Hitmon channel. I am your tour guide Jacob Nelson and I am joined by Noah. I don't know why I gave my last name for that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we are returning back to Paper Mario. Last time we started the game, got our ass handed with our Bowser and at the very end of the episode we gained Goombario here as our first partner and I'm going in this episode we'll be getting farther in the game and also uh, I forgot to go heal. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, no, our last episode you were talking... Ask... Sorry. Was I talking? Hang on, you uh, cut out a bit. What did, what did you uh, we'll get to that after the dialogue. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Don't our slogan is fresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired, a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a nap? Make yourself comfortable. Enjoy your stay. There's last episode you were asking about whether or not there's whether or not a character was Goombella Zero and Goombario was technically, technically the Goombella Zero of this game. Uh, I, I, I yeah, get that impression. He has the exact same functions at the very least. But I didn't mention it in the last episode, but that art, I, I really liked that art of Mario and Goombario that it showed. Yeah. Like, they have a little bit of those for all the partners. Nice. You sleep well? You care now? Now, partners work a little bit differently in this game from the previous Paper Mario's, and I'll be able to show that off a bit better once we get into a battle again. <laughs> Sorry, you just said work differently in this game than in previous Paper Mario games. Oh, fuck. Sorry, in the Thousand Year Door, they work different than in Thousand Year Door. My bad. <laughs> Paper Mario! <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your role will be aligned with difficult, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I've noticed you aren't growing Goomba's... Badge Koopa gave you another thing I forgot to do. You know that badge won't do any won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you better put that thing on before you go. Alright, yeah, sure. That's not so the right thing. Like point out the extremely weird family dynamic nope. we have going on in this series because like dad and, and the grandparents have like normal voices, and then the son has an Italian accent. <laughs> And the daughter has yeah. either a British a accent jump. or an Australian accent, depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah. So, power jump uh, basically boosts your attack power for a single jump. But where are the Goombas? Oh my god! Uh, excuse me, I take offense to that. That is a stereotype, and I don't appreciate it. Hey, Mario! <laughs> During a battle, you could change the order we attack in with Z. In a Wii in a video game? Oh shit. First I realize I'm just a plush room with nubs for legs, then I realize I'm in a video game? I'm really having an existential fucking crisis today. You can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep that in mind, okay? Break this guy's fucking kneecaps for you. Ah shit. Okay. So partners work a little bit differently than Tossing Your Door. As you can see, uh, there's no health bar for Goombario. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Also, title doesn't isn't a little mini game. This is a fucking Goomba. Goombas are what you call small fries. Hey, hey, hey! That's Wait. Not this premium guy, but don't appreciate it. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them. Fuck you. <laughs> Max HP two. Attack power one, defense power zero. Zip, nada. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. Been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. And now we can see the Goomba's health. So yeah, uh, partners uh, don't have a health bar. Instead, they just. Instead, they act like a one-hit you, essentially. So if they get hit by attack, they are knocked out. But they can get up after, after a couple turns. Oh, okay. I, I can 
can see why they changed that for yeah. 1004. Also now, as you can see, uh, actually I'm going to power, power jump just to show off that it's more powerful. Yep, there's the damage is sort of one. Uh, as you can see, after we tattled the Goombas, like for all, after we tattled the Goomba, every other Goomba has its health bar enabled, which is very useful, especially early on before you get a badge that allows you to see the health bars. Also, the journal entries that Goombario reads out, I believe, also count towards 100% completion. So, uh, no, if you don't mind, I'm gonna trust. So, if you don't mind, we can try and get like a bunch of the journal entries. But I don't know if we can get them all necessarily. Um, I also, I just realized, does Color Splash have partners? Uh, it does not. Sticker Star, neither Sticker Star nor Color Splash have partners, which is one of the reasons why people don't like those games as much as the previous ones, because partners are both a defining element and just a fun aspect, because like, they basically take up the role of having a character that Mario lacks, as a, from being a silent protagonist. And while the characters of Huey and Kirsty kind of take up that role, uh, the partners allowing for different personalities to beat a second character kind of make it a better system, honestly. Yeah, but in like Super Paper Mario didn't have partners either. Uh, it sort of did. Okay, so Super Paper Mario had different characters to play as, and it did have the... And it did have a variant of partners, kind of, where they gave you extra, like, they gave you extra abilities, but they didn't really talk much. Yeah. Oh, this is a fucking Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with fucking wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. Can't hit them with the ammo while they're airborne. You fucking stupid. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Yeah, okay. Break the fucking wing caps. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fun again that 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 playing Monty Kaiser in that Christmas radio show was super fun. Oh god, that was a bad idea. So as you can see, when doing a first strike, as you can see, when doing a first strike onto an enemy with a like a spike, or when doing a first strike jumping attack onto an enemy with a spike that causes you to damage yourself when going into battle. So advisable to not do what I just did by panic. So fuck a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Why don't we go gonna get some original fucking enemies here? Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes like you just did, you <laughs> fucking imbecile. <laughs> or, or even paralyzed. Oh! And I did not know. Yeah, the paralysis is the partners getting knocked out. Oh, gotcha. I mean, why was he saying you would get paralyzed? Uh... Good question, but also I'm just not going to think about that too much, because it's clearly just be a, a message to the player of, Hey, don't do this. Here's extra reasons. But, yeah, this whole sanctuary mission doesn't make a ton of sense. And here, we got another badge, Skull Skull Badge, when Mario is in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. And since we don't have any of the badges, and we're kind of low on health, constantly, I may as well equip it. So that'll cause enemies to periodically miss. Not periodically, occasionally miss. Low on health. And there's three of them. This guy. Uh, 
and that guy. For for getting low on health. Yep. I'm aware, and I don't mind yet. I'm basically just saving the mushroom on the off chance that we walk five steps to the right and is a, a healing block. Oh yeah, and enemies can occasionally drop hearts that heal you, but like, <laughs> my instincts were correct. <laughs> Okay, I'll do one, you do the other. Uh, um, hmm. Don't forward. Oh, it's a guy, I can tell you that much, at least. I appreciate it, it's a guy, anyway. Okay, um... It's, it's just... Hey, hey, hold it right there, you! Yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move! Can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. The direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. I was expecting they were going to talk a bit more during that. Anyway, so now for our first mini boss. That's not so our first mini boss where it isn't just smack the enemy, they smack you. This is Blue Goomba, younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Axe HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. And by little speech, I do mean little, because this guy is clearly the man of you. He's clearly the fur of this man. <laughs> he doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Mario, how do you like some of this? I immediately lost track of how I was doing his voice. <laughs> I'm just going to power bounce again to finish him off. So then I have to worry about the older brother. Oh, Blue Goomba! Ah, uh, my little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! And now we'll go tell him. This is Red Goomba! Elder of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Axe HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy no prop. He, he has just a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Actually, a lot more, because don't. Any of the Goombas have only. Oh, yeah, it's two. Okay. When I say a little bit more HP, I mean like over three times the amount. To do one more power bounce, we're just gonna keep doing this. And now, mini boss done. So we're gonna set up 17 more when we get a level up. Uh, uh, I'll let you go for now. Yep, there's a safe block over here. And then I'm going to step back over here and grab that healing block that's right here.
Alright, now we hold the spring up onto this higher area and we chase after them. Figure out who this Goomba King is. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. But it's a Goomba instead! In my notes for Red Goomba's voice, I put boss and question mark? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's the closest thing I can think of. It, it, it said suspicious guy, I was thinking cop, and for some reason that was my cop voice. <laughs> also, Gumbar, yeah, the partner AI yeah, is a little interesting. It tries to follow you, but occasionally it messes up. Gumba King's Fortress head. Goomba, help us! Maya, beat us up! I, that's definitely not the right voice. <laughs> God damn it. You almost did like a sort of a lighter Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I know, and I'm trying to figure out how he did that because that was entirely by accident. Look, Mario, that building over there? Pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. And what happened to it? So, Mario, is it? You made it this far? I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this voice is going terribly so far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I... The great and powerful Goomba, King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no further. I'm accidentally voice tracking. I don't know whether or not that's helping it or makes helping what I'm going for or making it worse. I think it fits, honestly. I think it fits, honestly. Um. Uh. Or th you hear that, Mario? Oh, father. A uh, one step. Are you scared, little man? Bah ha ha, yeah, you're a yeah, this is definitely not Hulk Hogan. You're scared, alright. You wanna say yes, I? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. Sure, he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's break his fucking kneecaps. Ready to feed my wrath, Mario? You better be! All right, and now our first power boss fight. Get up, King Goomba. No, oh, fuck, right, sorry. We got you back. Okay, the, the blue Goomba's voice is changing every time. Leave it to me. Mario, maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? We literally just took them out, but yeah, sure, let's do it again. Must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. And keeping with that, they're actually down to two health. Same as a regular old Goomba. Now I'm gonna take the opportunity to use a fire flower, which burns every enemy for three hand damage. Ooh, to immediately take them out. Yeah, the fire flower in this game looks like a fucking schmuck. <laughs> this is the fucking Goomba King. He's really fucking big. I mean, look at him. He looks really fucking powerful. Just to... Just, by the way, just to... To, like, clarify. Um, there were not this many F-bombs when I played the role. <laughs> <laughs> it works though. It was meant to be a relatively family friendly show. Um, you know, as family friendly as a show with mobsters murdering a journalist on Christmas could be. <laughs> Actually, HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. The 
boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Yeah, I wonder what he ate. Become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. Not just talking out muscles. And as you can see there, he stomps the ground and causes those, whatever the hell they are, to fall from the to fall from the tree above. So, I can run check on me real quick. Burned my dick. Stop the Goomna me. tree. Which we can tattle. Kind of, uh, uh, this is a Goomna tree. Sticky goom nuts will fall down if you hit this tree. Okay. It'll definitely hurt if they hit us. It may be worth it to use them against the enemy. So we can, we can tell that. Basically, instead of just directly attacking him, we can instead attack the tree and cause a goom nut to fall on him as he caused the goom nut to fall on us. And does uh, stay damage. Ah, uh, okay. And now... You just spun around epically and then just tapped you with the <laughs> And now, boss done. Oh wow, that was quick. That well, was the very first boss, so... And yeah, now we've just... leveled up. So in leveling up, you heal, all, you heal up all your HP and FP, and you can choose to increase your HP, which is obvious, the FP, which is also obvious, and your BP, which allows you to wear more badges at once. For this first one, I'm going to put on... Gonna give us more HP. Well, what? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool victory. Alright, now, yep, there's a piece in there. And now, they've locked the door ahead, so we can't go through the castle. But can we find a way around? No, but we can't find the switch, which does something. I wonder what? Uh, Mario, good fight and all. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Oh no! <laughs> I like, I like how that oh no came out. Yeah, that was good. Good delivery. So I love that the windows just fall off the tower. Hang on, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Alright. And off into the stratosphere he goes. The Goomba Key is blasting off again! I was about to say it. <laughs> Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue on our journey. All right. All right, and now we can finally get past the Goomba Village area. And back to just before Toad Town. <laughs> this is a slightly more of that. We're being watched too. So I just realized this is the second episode, and also the second episode in a row where I have made a joke about someone wanting a bigger dick. <laughs> uh, what the fuck did Austin Powers do to me? <laughs> hey, King Bowser. It's been. <coughs> for you. The report you're even is how you defeated the Goomba King. Set it for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king and he, because he begged me. Mario whips him so easily? What a whip! Uh, Kevin Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your 
Let's try to <coughs> call. The king is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. Doesn't matter, cause I you hold the star rod, you are <coughs> definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind. <coughs> Your back. Uh, she has very good guaha. That went great. By the way, Captain Koopa, the star spirits we've captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. It's his help. <laughs> And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subject. Even Mario can't save all seven of the... <coughs> ...our spirits. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? The one at Koopa Bros. Fortress. Right. Mario somehow reaches there. Can the Koopa Bros defeat him? Oh, this is the Koopa Bros now. Uh, do you have a good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles impression? <laughs> do I have a good... King <laughs> Bowser, you mustn't worry, dude! Wait, are these actually the Ninja Turtles? Yeah! Now a bug hell! <laughs> For this being a thing. Here come the Koopa Bros! Huh? Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool! Basically just a deeper version of my Sonic voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? Koopa King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Sha! Get real, King Bowser! And the Koopa King was huge. He was a total Wimpola. Nothing like him. <laughs> See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it. <laughs> oh, Rose. The water king that special attack you do. Oh, well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? <laughs> it's just one of them turning his dick into pickles. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Have you not seen that commercial? No, I have not. It's like it's like a foreign commercial for some pickle company. <laughs> <laughs> In a locker room, and one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just enters the locker room. And, to, and like you see him drop his towel and it is heavily implied that the pickles are his dick. <laughs> I'd to show you that commercial. It's, it's very funny. <laughs> How'd you like it, King, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance to ship with that attack. I'll take it, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros. About the captured star spirit I locked up in your fortress. 
Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. No, we're here, and so... You idiots, use your heads. I don't want to use my head. <laughs> Back to the fortress and guard that star spirit. And that's the Cooper Rose. <laughs> what was that you cut out? Hey, I just said I love them. <laughs> Here we got a sleepy sheep. How's he to put some enemies to sleep? And then we gotta spin this tree. We'll just knock her out and then see what's up here on top of this uh, tunnel thingy. It's the hammer throw badge, which allows you to throw hammers at enemies. Which is useful since hammers can only attack whatever enemies in the front row, so. Whatever enemies in the back row. Town, which we weren't really able to look around early, but now we can by virtue of not being stuck in a cutscene. So we have towns here, we got some nice telephones that I won't force no one to voice right now. <laughs> and yeah, Toads, I miss Toads having a lot of varied designs, I must say. That's also a really common sentiment among Paper Mario fans. Now we have the shop here, which allows us to buy a bunch of other things. The, here we have I mean, so we're going to buy one or two of, I think. Plus is to restore FP. And we got power blocks, which are kind of like the fire flowers, except they only do attack enemies on the ground. And we got the fright jar, which, which has the potential to scare enemies away from battles. But we're not going to grab the right now. We're having a sale. Yep. And then these three. Oh, whatever, they're just gonna have the regular toy voice. Alright. <clears throat> this castle flew away! Could such a thing happen? I will be here on Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle. Shit, there were others. <laughs> scared! I'm scared! I, what is your tea? I'm so scared! Yep, I can't do anything. Hey, Felicia! Huh? Oh, yeah, got there. Now, I will uh, get into those two later. For now, we're going to continue on with the story for now. For now, we're going to continue on with the story for now. Wait, hey, okay. What? You said you'll go back to them later, but, like... Don't you caught a brief glimpse of them? Okay, I'll go back so that Noah can see what they are. Uh, these two. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I thought they were a little bit closer together, <laughs> and the guy was behind one guy, and yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, now, uh, Meech, Chan, and Lee, these guys operate the Parin Dojo up here, that allow you to practice battle stuff, and also access a couple optional bosses. Okay. A couple, I mean, one and three variants. Also... Uh, you may have noticed that a very clever reference in their name. <laughs> the name. Oh, same as him on Chain and him on me. Yep. Yeah. Now we got another inn right here. I don't know why I went into the inn, but sure. Okay. Uh, some interesting toes right here. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. You shouldn't go. Oh, no go. Sorry, but no. Oh, they seem per like perfectly normal chaps. 
And we got this nice little thing right here with an arch that definitely won't be important later. <laughs> Post office, we will get to that when it's slightly more relevant. And now, uh, this with these guys. Hey, what's up? Good to see you, bud. Roth's the name. I'm starting up a little business in Toe Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see it back here when we open, alright? These guys, uh... Sorry, I never knew that that thing just fell over. <laughs> I believe those guys will sell you some badges. Anyway, for now we're going to continue on to the hill. Past the ruins of where Peach's Castle used to be. Oh, yeah, shit. Can't believe that Princess Peach's Castle was here just a little while ago. Ow. But I was in the castle when it started to shake. My lightning quick feet got me out. Lightning quick nubs for feet. Now Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others. Everyone else was taken. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out where Luigi went at some point. We're not trying to actively progress the plot. <laughs> Now, we approach the hill. I definitely forgot the name of Shooting Star Summit. Thank you, game. <laughs> now, there is. Looking for something? Drop by Merlovely's house. House place. We'll stop by Merlovely later. So now, to the summit. I believe there's something back here. Yep, okay. I like. I like the blueness and effect of this place. I don't know if it's captured well on the camera, because last time the lights dimmed on the characters, it was kind of hard to make out what the heck they were. <laughs> At least through the camcorder. It, uh, yeah, I mean, on my end, it does also look very nice. And we'll just climb the very, very, very small summit for a mountain. <laughs> As shooting stars fall all around us. Surely causing a lot of accidental concussions around here. Welcome, Mario. We're w we've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of the good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his fellows invaded our peaceful star haven by breaking the fourth wall. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which, with, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. Right. <clears throat> star Rod is powerful beyond belief can grant any wish. As long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes, like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear we will I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. <clears throat> okay. It's a responsibility to the seven star spirits to keep the red star safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back, Bowser, and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, need your help. Uh, 
badly. Right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. It is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited with the star haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail! That skips automatically. Fuck, what voice did I give this guy? <laughs> ah. Um, no. I'll make him a new one. Alas, we are exhausted our power to talk to you. Sure, let's go with that. It's definitely not the same as the other voice. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different pieces throughout the Martian Kingdom. Please, Mario, for all... First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save the Princess Peach, we need your help. <clears throat> Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? Really worried about her. Speaking of the princess... First... <laughs> what was that? Interesting. Yeah, especially like if that could help for like places that don't have another way to detect yeah. people with tickets. Um, that'll be really helpful. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time. <laughs> hey, dear. So high above the sky. <laughs> uh, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. Unless he uses that mushroom he got earlier. <laughs> no, Prince, as long as I have this star rock. The one in my mushroom. For you. You know, the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. The subjects must be so <coughs> upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over years. If you, you know, want it, all you need to do is ask me so I can grant wishes. Of course, there are a few quid pro quo. <laughs> um, I'll only grant as I like. Anyway, think about it. Take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your snake. Watch yourself, Princess. 
better not. <clears throat> so, hello Princess Peach, pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. You're a star kid, aren't you? I thought I was one of the star children. <laughs> is, is, seriously, they have star kids and star children? That's really fucking confusing. <laughs> I came from Star Eva to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. I really wanted to give him a slightly deeper voice, but I can maybe do this one for now. I'm just reminded, uh, did you ever watch um fairly odd movie Grow Up Timmy Turner? Yes, I did. Remember the ending where well, Poof, what, poof starts kicking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, it came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just grand. Thank you so much for coming. It's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Can you do it? The fuck are you on? Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the animal star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star could do. Then, you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. It's <laughs> first day on the job, I forgot about that. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. What the fuck can you do, then? <laughs> it's alright, don't be sad, Twink. You know what? Or Twink, I'm gonna go smoke some weed now. <laughs> And that's a reference to the Sonic 06 real-time fandom. Ah, okay. Ah. Uh. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. Probably coming right now. It's a lot funnier when it's Sonic referring to Silver. <laughs> <laughs> that's the context. Ah, I see. Oh, Twink. You think you can find Mario? Shaped box. What? You cut out. Oh, I was like, I want to give this to him. Pulls out heart shaped box. <laughs> <laughs> this is the luckiest star, isn't it? I fucking forgot his voice already. Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just because I can. Okay, fuck. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, don't despair, I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Now, what time is it in the recording? Uh, oof, we'll go to more lovely later for now.
we will actually get to the encounter with Crink. Which should be about now. Ow! Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, in a future right. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Thank the star that I found you. Think the me I found you. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Twink. Prince of Speech asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here it is this ticket. You got the lucky star. The star saved printed lets you use action commands. Finally, at long goddamn last. That's the lucky star from Prince of Speech. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Actually, fuck it, sure, this time, sure. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you. Behind Mar behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? E? Name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. Okay, this one's a more pivotal, like, mechanic to all the Mario RPG, so I'll go through the explanation for this one. First, Mario. Choose the jump command, and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're fucking doing? Once you decide to, once you decide to, once you decide on an enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Prince later before landing. Oh, don't fucking do it, oh! Right now, just before stopping on the enemy. First A at exactly this moment. Oh, fuck off! When you see nice appear, it means you successfully use an action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Kumbaro, you can try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Go break your fucking kneecaps for that. Right now, oh, press A just before you before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the Ash Command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Push left and release when the vest oh, arrives up. Lock this shit again. Once you use it, once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. I swear to fucking God, Mario. Star flat. Okay. Oh, damn it. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered it properly. I'll get him because of no. <laughs> action command could serve you well. Serve you well to practice it. If you don't practice in training, you could use in training command. I'm just gonna end the training right now. Oh, uh, like fucking god. Yeah, action commands. They allow they turn the turn based combat into a slightly more active thing that become that is pivotal like not pivotal. That is like one of the defining features of every single Mario RPG out there. It allows you to both defend and attack more actively. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. Be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Oh, Kamek! I thought he was in the too. What? You can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Cooper. She'll show me a phrase. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Nah, it's not Kamek. It's just a regular Magic Koopa. Oh, okay. Never mind. Actually, I'm going to title him first. Like, Kamek does appear in... Wait, he appears in Sticker Star, doesn't he? Yeah, he appears in Sticker Star, Color Splash, and Seems Origami King. Okay. Oh, this is a fucking Magical Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Yeah, uh, uh... XHP 8, Act Power 3, Defense Power 0. Um... Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. Better take these guys seriously. And take it ser take it seriously we shall by using the power jump with action commands. And I screwed up the action command. 
And I screwed up the action command too. Great start, great start. There we go. Alright. And now we can knock, you know, we've knocked him off of his high horse or high broomstick, I guess. We can attack him more freely. And I screwed up the timing there too. Now each attack for defending has slightly different timing on it, so it's important to learn enemy attacks so you can dodge them properly. However, dodge them. Defend against them properly. However, defending will just take off one damage point. It won't completely negate the attack every time. Yeah. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell you you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all... Oh. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's, exa that's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Hey, Mario, let's get down to business. Defeat. The uh, fun. Okay. Okay, now, before we actually go back down to business, I'm going to first uh, observe a business over here. And before I observe the business, I'm going to observe uh, whatever the heck is back here. I'm back to the this business. And nothing we can access right now. Cool. Okay, cool. Wonderful. I believe there's something in there, but we don't have the ability to allow us to use it yet. I think we get. This is Mer Lovely's house, and also the home of this chest, which will definitely not be important later. Oh! Oh! Uh... Um. <laughs> Sorry. saw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely. A relation to Merlin in Super Paper Mario? Uh, I can't remember Merl. I can't remember what Merlin looks like. Basically, it's a series of like vaguely important tellers about the Paper Mario series, at least the first few Paper Marios that have this general aesthetic to them. Um, I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes, a looking absolutely ravishing. It can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Me. Shall I read your fortune? I'm gonna pass this time. My my, are you sure? If I ever, if ever you seek something, please call upon me again. Yeah, there's the hint system of the game, I believe. Anyway, uh, there are two. Okay, there are two general purposes for these style characters. Okay, I guess three now. Uh, this one is the badge merchant. He'll, they will swap, tell you badges in exchange for the star, star pieces. Uh, Mer Lovely is a fortune trailer that I'm pretty sure is just the instance in the game, and there's a third one that we walked by earlier on in the game, who I believe grants you special effects if you pay him money. But we'll get back to all of them, but back to him later. I am the famous Merlot shooting star stone, and I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How's about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? Now here's the badges we have technically access to. We have a badge that changes the sound effects. Uh, we have the <clears throat> we have a badge that gives you more coins the more damage you take. We have something that gives you get in here by first strike and a bunch of other useful things, most of which we can't buy yet. Including, yes, uh, peekaboo, which we're going to try and get as soon as is uh, conveniently possible, because this allows you to see enemy HP without having the title over them. Without having to have, without having to tattle them. 
Ah, did you change your mind? I see. Yeah. Give by the way, wait, okay. It's a very useful badge, which is why a lot of people just like really recommend getting it in a let's play. Uh, do, does this game have the uh, the Luigi badge from Thousand Year Door? I don't believe so, unfortunately. It also does not have the Wario or Waluigi badges from Thousand Year Door, I believe. Was it your door had Wario and Waluigi badges? Yep. Oh. I guess Dan never found those. Yeah. Actually, I think he found the Waluigi badge, but I don't think he just. But I don't think he ever used it. Oh, sorry. I would have yeah. definitely remembered if he did. Really? Where's the. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, right here is mine. And... Oh! Ellen was looking for you! Lives in that house with the spinning roof. Ask me to tell you. Go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of his house at all. Alright. When I said, when I asked if there was any relation to Merlin, I didn't expect Merlin to actually show up in this one. Oh, you never really think i show off the bo news board. Frantic Fuzzies conquer Cooper Village. Recently, it seems that Fuzzies have, been, have invaded Cooper Village and are causing mayhem. Please exercise extreme caution when visiting Cooper Village. And on the back side of the sign, Toe Town Underground News. Did you hear the gossip about Princess Peach? I can't write it down here because it's unbelievable. A gossip loving toad. These things change periodically as you go through the game. They're a fun little thing. Merlin is out. Right, he is literally standing out here somewhere. Was he standing over here? Nope. Where was Merlin standing? God damn it. <laughs> They're not open yet. Where where was Merlin? Got two on time, by the way. Uh, we're okay. We're about at time, but I'm definitely not gonna remember to do Merlin when we get back to this tomorrow. I don't think. Uh, we can go a little bit longer. I think just finding and talking to Merlin, then we have to end the episode there. Where, where is Merlin? Dear God. Do we just have to knock on his door again? We may just have to knock on his door again. Hold on. You could also literally take a note on the same page where I'm writing my voice notes. Fuck to Merlin. You know, this is a good point. I'm just going to check the door real quick. Why do I keep knocking and I'm telling you he's out? There we go. Okay, it was just you knock on the door twice. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh my, maybe? No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it, con and it concerns you. Before I tell you about that, th there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? Oh god, I forgot it tells you a long story. <laughs> it was in the old days, one of my ancestors was on the shooting star summit, and as usual... But one day it happened, suddenly a great appearing and I standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious raised, raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young back then. I believed in, but our hearts were. And then, so. And Mario falls asleep. <laughs> oh. I, I seem to remember there being something like this 
Tetris and Super Paper Mario 2. Yes, yeah, but this is a recurring joke in the earlier games. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! You were listening- were you listening to me? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you ever get lost during the adventure, come to me. Oh god, okay, god damn it, I confused the fortune tellers. <laughs> I can project the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peter as quickly as humanly possible, but... According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Cooper Brothers. To reach the Cooper Brothers fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad Town. In front of the Toad Town, sorry. Alright, and with that, we know where we're going next. So next time, we'll go there, because we're out of time right now. So, I've been Jacob. Noah, peace. Adios.